past week, the D23 Expo took place in Anaheim, California, for the first time since 2019. One of the key announcements concerned a whole range of animated films and series planned for the future. When it comes to the topic of animation and Disney, the in-house Pixar Animation Studios must of course be mentioned. As Pixar CCO Pete Docter disclosed to the panel, there are currently four projects scheduled. The first is Elemental, a movie announced back in May. The content is about a world full of beings, each based on the four elements of fire, water, earth, and air. So it happens that a fiery young woman and a rather laid-back young man meet and have a lot in common despite their apparent differences in character. At the time of the announcement, Pixar also directly provided concept art showing the two main characters. Elemental will be released in cinemas in the summer of 2023 and marks the beginning of Pixar's upcoming projects. Second, we can look forward to a Disney Plus series from Pixar after a long time, namely Win or Lose. Basically, it's about a softball team one week before a major championship game. What makes it special is that each episode takes place on one day in said week before the game, so you can expect a narrative without big time jumps. In addition, the main character changes with each episode, allowing viewers to follow the turbulent preparations for the important game from different angles. The premiere is planned for fall 2023. Elio, in contrast, is a Pixar project of which no details have been given before. Director Adrian Molina and producer Mary Alice Drum announced that the film revolves around the 11-year-old Elio. He is artistically talented, but has trouble getting out of the house and making friends. Through a secret project of his mother, he eventually comes into contact with aliens who mistake the insignificant boy for Earth's very official ambassador. The movie will be released in spring 2024. The last remaining sequel is to Inside Out from 2015. As CCO Doctor announced, main character Riley has grown up to be a teenager by now and has to struggle with whole new emotions that need to be dealt with. Pixar is targeting a summer 2024 release. Pixar's counterpart, Disney Animation, which excels in frequent fairy tale references and handmade animation, also had plenty of new projects to announce. There's Zootopia Plus, for example, a string of different short stories about the most relevant characters from the film Zootopia. The release is already slated for this November. On Thanksgiving this year, animation fans can also look forward to the movie Strange World. A first trailer already provided us with a sneak peek at the Clades, a family of explorers who must overcome a variety of challenges together in an unfamiliar landscape. In 2023, the schedule continues with Iwaju. This is a Disney Plus series set in Nigeria and centers on the heiress Tola and the poor boy Cole. Likewise anticipated in 2023 is Wish, a film based on the Kingdom of Roses, a place where wishes come true. Soli Asha is able to perceive darkness in the kingdom, and in her desperation, she turns to a star, which eventually shows up for her. Live-action movies did not fall short on the Disney panel either. The next feature is Hocus Pocus 2, and it's scheduled for release on Disney Plus on September 30th. It will be followed on November 24th, also on Disney Plus, by Disenchanted, the sequel to the 2007 movie Enchanted. There was also a first teaser for Indiana Jones 5. It is said to be quite action-packed and show fast-paced fights reminiscent of the old parts. Actor Jonathan Key Kwan was also cast again. Back then, he played the role of Shorty in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The official title, by the way, has still not been revealed, which means that we can keep on guessing. Recently, there have been further rumors about the return of Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood, who even became Indy's wife after the last part. Fans of Avatar 2, The Way of Water, were also treated to a pleasant surprise, as not only were those attending allowed to talk to James Cameron about his new film, but they were also given the chance to watch never-before-seen clips with 3D glasses. The theatrical release of Avatar The Way of Water is on December 16th, 2022. In 2023, Disney fans can look forward to Peter Pan and Wendy, Haunted Mansion, and The Little Mermaid, to name but a few. The latter, in particular, has long been a topic of discussion among movie fans, as not everyone is happy with the casting of the fairy tale adaptation by Hans Christian Andersen. At least at the D23 Expo, main actress Halle Bailey was warmly welcomed on stage. In 2024, the influx of new Disney projects is not going to be any less either, with projects such as Mufasa, The Lion King, and Snow White on the schedule. Last week, selected D23 attendees were treated to the first moving images from the upcoming MCU movie, The Marvels. Following the introduction of Monica Rambeau in WandaVision and Kamala Khan in Ms. Marvel, the two will soon be reunited with Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, 
In the presence of the three actresses and Kevin Feige, they presented the first trailer, which we will now summarize for you based on the eyewitness accounts. Right at the beginning, a surprise guest shows up, namely, none other than Nick Fury. Fury is supervising Rambo during a spacewalk when she suddenly switches places with Kamala Khan. Neither Fury nor Rambo know what is going on. This is followed by a lengthy showing of the post credit scene from Ms. Marvel. Eventually, Rambo and Khan meet again whereupon Ms. Marvel tries to use her superpowers for test purposes, again, suddenly swapping places with her friend. The two ruminate on why, when using their powers, they seem to randomly swap places no matter where they are. At the end of the trailer, Carol joins them and the three of them fight against soldiers that strongly remind us of the Kree from Captain Marvel. Finally, the three main characters are shown joking with each other, which gives the film a rather humorous touch. In addition, there are rumors regarding the villain of the film, According to some media reports, Zawe Ashton could embody the main villain, Hala. In the comics, she is one of the last Kree survivors and even the lone survivor of the Accuser Corps. Although this has not yet been confirmed, it is still one of the more feasible theories. The theatrical release of The Marvels is planned for July 28, 2023. Disney did not miss the opportunity to announce news about the second season of Loki at the recent D23 Expo. In addition to the new cast member, Jonathan Ki Kwan, who is known as Shorty from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, those present were also treated to a first trailer. The short clip shows the main character, Loki, limping down a long hallway. Along with unsettling music, a voiceover can be heard in which he says that he was pulled through time and saw terrible things. Moreover, not only TVA, but the entire universe would be facing complete destruction after the events of the first season. He and Mobius reunite. However, it is obvious that Loki has definitely ended up in another world where no one recognizes him. In the meantime, Sylvie is seen in a living room. She apparently has not yet found inner peace after killing He Who Remains. She also seems to have no memory of Loki, so it is unclear when the two will meet again. Recent addition Jonathan Ki Kwan only shows up in a brief scene where he looks like a TVA employee. According to some reports, the trailer makes a very creepy impression. At times, it could even be mistaken for a horror movie. Tom Hiddleston, who was one of the star guests at the presentation, added that the mainly returning cast will be exploring a much more dangerous multiverse than in the first season. Judging by the first trailer description, we are definitely excited to hopefully see it with our own eyes soon. Loki Season 2 will be released on Disney Plus in 2023. Many are already eagerly awaiting the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. There are good reasons for this, as Kang, the MCU's new supervillain, will be making his feature film debut. A trailer was also shown for the first time at the D23 Expo, revealing many details about the upcoming flick, which is why we will now discuss the eyewitness accounts of those who got to see the still unpublished trailer. Protagonist Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, is now married to Hope Van Dyne, aka Wasp, and lives his life as a successful book author. Also, Scott's daughter Cassie is not inactive, because thanks to her technical talent, she has built a transmitter capable of sending signal waves into the subatomic world. Of course, the project goes wrong, and so Scott, Cassie, Hope, and also Hank Pym are pulled into the subatomic realm. There they meet Kang the Conqueror, who succeeds in capturing Cassie. Using her as leverage, he tasks his father Scott with stealing something from that subatomic realm. At this point, many are unsure exactly what might be so important that Kang wants it so badly. Scott refuses, after which, Kang reveals very shortly why he's the perfect new villain in the MCU. He easily knocks the Avenger into a wall. Kang also asks Scott whether he has killed him before, as after all, he is an Avenger and they all blur together after a while. So it seems to be no big deal for Kang the Conqueror to kill an Avenger. We look forward to seeing the trailer in its entirety soon and are excited for the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is set to hit theaters on February 17th, 2023. When Marvel CEO Kevin Feige entered the stage at the last D23 Expo, one thing became clear. There will surely be some news concerning upcoming MCU movies and series. One by one, they presented the MCU of the coming years, which is why we have prepared an overview for you here. For example, there was an exclusive look at Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. You could see pictures of Angela Bassett as Ramonda, as well as a short clip from the movie. After the death of King T'Challa, as well as his actor Chadwick Boseman, the Kingdom of Wakanda has to face many challenges, including raids by other nations who want to get hold of the valuable resource Vibranium. The film is scheduled to be the next in the MCU and will be released in theaters on November 11th, 2022. In contrast, a proper trailer was shown at the panel of Secret Invasion, 
With Nick Fury at the center, next year's series revolves around the S.H.I.E.L.D. leader, who after a long journey in space, discovers a society infiltrated by Skrulls. Together with allies like War Machine, he must try to avert the danger. In addition, Don Cheadle, who was present at the event, got us excited about Armor Wars, a series that will be shot next year. Other series presented include Ironheart, Echo, and Daredevil Born Again. Ironheart offered a brief glimpse of her armor, Echo featured a clip of the returning Kingpin, and Daredevil Born Again received a short clip, which, however, comes from She-Hulk and not from its own series. Also included in sufficient numbers were other films from the MCU. One of the lesser-known ones is probably Werewolf by Night, which will be available on Disney Plus and is shot entirely in black and white. A returnee, meanwhile, could be seen in Captain America 4 New World Order. There, Anthony Mackie takes on the role as the new Captain America. A somewhat different superhero team are the Thunderbolts, who celebrate their MCU debut at the end of Phase 5. The disparate squad brings together many dubious characters from the MCU, including Red Guardian from Black Widow and Sebastian Stan, alias Bucky, from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yet, he is supposed to be the most normal one in the Suicide Squad-like Marvel movie. Rather disappointing was the panel of Fantastic Four, as there was no introduction of the cast, contrary to expectations. As a small addition, Disney presented a few novelties to various theme parks, including a new Thanos figure that will soon be on display at Disneyland in Anaheim. A concept art impressively demonstrates how the villain will be seen as King Thanos at the Avengers Campus there in the future. Besides the countless movies and series from the MCU, Star Wars was also provided with the stage. First, there is the second season of The Bad Batch, an animated series and spin-off from The Clone Wars, which will be released on Disney Plus on January 4th, 2023. Another spin-off of The Clone Wars is the series Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, which includes six short films and also features characters such as Ahsoka Tano and Count Dooku. Disney presented a first trailer for the series. Fan favorite Ahsoka Tano is additionally getting her own series of the same name in live action format. Just as in The Mandalorian, she will be played by Rosario Dawson. Apart from the third season of The Mandalorian, which was also proudly teased, there was news about Skeleton Crew. Set in the New Republic era, the series centers on a group of four who embark on a long journey to get home. Actor Jude Law is one of the cast members. Thus, Disney provided us with a very lush presentation on the Marvel Cinematic Universe and equally on Lucasfilm and Star Wars. The 74th Emmys were awarded in Los Angeles a few days ago. It was clear from the start that there would probably be no big surprises, as the winners had either already been determined since the previous year or were clear favorites. The main winner of the evening was the 25 times nominated Apple series Succession, which was able to win in one of the most important categories, namely Best Drama. Also highly successful was the series Ted Lasso from Apple TV+, Plus, which was nominated 20 times and may now call itself Best Comedy Series. HBO's The White Lotus also received 20 nominations, and in fact, the series was able to convert all its nominations into awards. Best Lead Actor in Drama is Lee Jung Jae from Squid Game on the male side and Zendaya in Euphoria on the female side. Also awarded Best Supporting Actor in Drama were Matthew McFadden for Succession and Julia Garner for Ozark. All in all, a rather unspectacular award ceremony. The only upset is that Better Call Saul, one of the most celebrated series of recent years, once again walked away empty-handed. The next major award ceremony will be the Golden Globes, which will also be held in Los Angeles on January 9th, 2023. That's it for the news of the week. Which announcement are you looking forward to the most? Of course, you can find all the trailers for the MCU and Star Wars on our channel. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.